Now we're going to look at the double A combination in these groups. It's very rare, but it does occur. For example, in the word Aaron, or in, I believe, savvy and bizarre, and there's a couple words. It's very rare, but it occurs. So first, let's just analyze that AA. So we've got an A. How do we connect an A to another A? Well, like so. That, that's the, the obvious option. That's one way. Looks kind of neat, depending on the circumstance. It could be scales or spikes. I, I'm not sure how you're going to use it. But the other option is to simply go like so. Now, this can look like a lot of other things if we're not careful. So the, the key points we have to pay attention to, and I didn't pay attention here, is this shouldn't be rounded. This should be very sharp curve, first of all. Those corners should be made to be sharp. And second of all, it has to be the full length of the writing space. It has to be as long as a D or an H would be. It can't be, if you're writing a word and you're writing it kind of like this, you can't have this be this small. It has to extend all the way to the edges of whatever your writing space is so that it's clearly a long A and not some other combination of short dashes. Um, it's very rare, so don't worry about it much. But in this word, it can be very useful. Because after that, after we go A, we can go AR. And now this even more exemplifies why we need to be careful when doing our, our A's. As you can see, an R would look very similar to an A, except for the fact that the double A is very fat. The R is thin and in down the middle. And we then have an O, and we can put it in any direction we like. Uh, we don't have a whole lot extra we can do. We could try putting the N inside of the O. I hate doing that. I personally abhor putting curls inside of circles, especially when I'm writing fast with a pen on normal paper, but that's always there for aesthetic purposes and for logo design and whatnot. So let's try to put this together into something that looks nice and boxy. That's going to be a bit of a challenge because we're so fat on the top and thin on the bottom, but I think if we come down and over, we'll be fine. So A, R, O, N. Yeah, we're fine. You could easily make a, a good square shape out of this. Uh, you could also just use the standard AA um, to fill that square like so. So you could go A, A, R, O, N. Or you could connect it off of there if you like and then kind of come down so it's thin and fat on the top. Whatever you like. Play with it and see what you like.